Um, we did want a Democrat in there, you know, supposedly nonpartisan, and did feel that when you analyze the dynamic of the race, it might be better to have a conservative Democrat from East Side going against uh, Susan Hutchison, who seems likely to go through. So that, that was another factor. So there's all kinds of factors. You know, when you look at the city council races, um, it could be one of experience, it could be one of uh, someone with new ideas. So there's all, there's all kinds of different factors. So I don't think we have one kind of, sort of like the Muni League says, oh, we just look at kind of their experience and are they prepared? We don't kind of have a checklist like that. So can you talk a little bit more about how you evaluate, uh, you know, like city races? It's, it's, it's anything from, from specific policy positions to something I said earlier, which is leadership. Do, you know, does this person have a, a command of the issues? We might disagree with their, with their opinion on the issues, but they have a command of the issues, but they can make stuff happen and get stuff done. I think is a big, big factor. And then you, you weave that in with policy, and, and how does the policy dovetail with their ability to lead? I, I would just add that I think there's also um, an issue on the city council of having a good mix of people. Because, I mean, you're not going to always agree with everyone in the city council, right? So we endorse, you know, we endorse David Bloom, we endorse Nick Lapata, and I think we, we disagree with them, I mean, on a lot of issues, particularly density. But, um, but I think that having a, a conversation happen on the city council as opposed to having everybody kind of uh, dovetailing, you know, in the same direction on every single issue is really important. And I think have people who will have some institutional knowledge also, some, you know, uh, awareness of the issues and how difficult it is to get stuff done, particularly in the city of Seattle, which is just a crazy place to try to pass legislation. It's really important. Yeah, the, the other person we endorse in the council race is Mike O'Brien, who politics are very different from Nick Licata and David Bloom. So, you know, they, they sort of are very a little re resistant to the to the tunnel idea. Um, and well, O'Brien's the service transit option, but on the, on the other end of the, of the spectrum. The cotton bloom seem to be for the rebuild, but definitely not the tunnel. So there's different politics.